Hey humans, welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro. <gasps> Just is ho. Today, girl, is a Mama Eva collab with my girl Autumn the Beckman. Autumn Beckman. Yes, of Luxury on a Budget. We are talking about buying luxury online, how to buy luxury online. She has so many tips, tricks, trade secrets that you are gonna wanna watch her video if you haven't already, if you've come over from her channel. Thank you so much! Girl, I'm so glad we finally got together. You know this. Uh, but yeah, if you're watching me first, go over. Definitely check out her tips, tricks, and trade secrets that you, uh, you need to know. If you're gonna purchase luxury and really anything online okay before we get into it girl my scent of the day is this citrusy lovely biatch that she's yeah I keep not buying another huh, bottle of this because I'm gonna drain it down to the last spray but it is uh, my Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel I love this so 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 much it kind of i don't know if you guys get this vibe but it reminds me of the tiffany uh the love and co it's got it's got that really great grapefruit great grapefruit that's hard to say uh kind of citrusy vibe that i love clean smelling too but um you can tell this is chanel the dna is there i think there's some vanilla and jasmine and stuff in the bottom but um what comes through is that citrusy, citrusy, I've, I've had a few drinks, actually I haven't, I'm just normally tongue-tied, um, but it comes through with that citrusy, great, yummy, clean feeling. Anyway, that's the scent of the day, and bag of the day, girl, <laughs> hold my hand, hold me right now, okay, it is this, and ugh, it's stuffed, because she's had to re-enter the workforce okay i've always been working but i took a uh, different job at my work uh happy that i did i say that today i'm just getting started but it requires hybrid uh cooperation or work so that means i have to go on site which i haven't been in two and a half years <sighs> girl yes and uh then i get to work two days at home remotely so yeah wah wah it is culture shock uh being back at my actual work there's just a handful of people there but you know what i i've seen some things <laughs> namely my whole body in the uh, bathroom full body mirror i am never going to recover from that and probably never going to eat cake again please okay here we go i am going to tell you so uh, I'll flash up some screenshots and pictures uh, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about because I'll be going in it with uh, in on it with my uh, phone. So here we go. Uh, how to buy luxury. This is what I do when I buy luxury online. This is uh, my advice or how I do things. I don't know if you want to go by what I got to say because clearly she's got a problem. Okay. <laughs> But first things first, I'm going to say, for instance, uh, I'm going to give you a wish list item that I don't currently own, but of course I would like to own. Will I? I don't know. I don't know if you can tell. I'm kind of breaks on with the luxury for now. Uh, doesn't mean I don't have, you know, I've been buying a few little things here and there, t-shirts, some coach stuff. Um, I think this weekend maybe I'll show you all the stuff I bought since the last time I showed you all the stuff I bought in July so anyhow but what I do first let's just take for instance I want the on-the-go tote from Louis Vuitton and I don't really care about the color I just want that size tote in the PM I would like it in a monogram I think they do make it in a maybe in the Giant reverse monogram I, I'm not really sure but I would have to probably go with like an emprunt, emprunt, like black or something. I think they make it in that new pinkish, doesn't that, they make it in that, don't they make it in that pink thing that turns like to blue? I, I'm not crazy about that. I, I don't know what they call that. But the first thing I do is I go on to the actual 
boutique website. If I could give you one piece of advice now, I'll probably end up buying the bag at some point pre-loved. But I want to know, hey, what does this retail for first? Always get a baseline before you go check in your pre-loves. Um, always get a baseline for what that bag costs. So if I go on the uh, website and I type in on the go PM, it will bring me up uh, the current selections of that bag. Boy, my, my internet is slow. I bet I'm not on my Wi-Fi from work. Hold please. Okay, so I'm on the site and they, they do make it in that like, I know you can't see my phone. I'll just flash up a picture in that like, uh, let me screenshot this for you. Uh, like a bubble gum. I don't know what they call this. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll be prepared. But um, yeah, I don't really like it in that sort of um, colorway and that kind of pink to blue to green all over. I, I'm not crazy about that. It's kind of in a giant monogram. It's got a guitar. No, I'm not about that life. So let's go on and see um, what other colors they offer in the on the go because I just need to get a baseline. That was $3,400. Sorry, I said $3,400, but they're $3,500. I'm not about that. Okay, so let's just decide on the black one. I like the black one. I think it's cute. Uh, I would love to own that one. So right off the bat, we figure out that it is place in cart. So it's not, we need to know that too, guys. We need to know, is it available on the site? Because when you go looking pre-loved, especially on places like eBay, don't be scared to buy on eBay, guys. But you'll see sellers um, on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay. They'll say, sold out online, can't get in stores. It's right now place in car. It is $32.50. So immediately once I find out, okay, brand new, I can buy this item. It's add to bag right now. I can buy it for $32.50. But I'm going to go straight into Fashion File. Now, the thing about me is when I buy, uh, unless I have really bad FOMO, and I have a few times, um, I'm going to put a heart or favorite if I go on the real, real tradesy, if I go on fashion file, especially if I go on eBay, anywhere that I find the luxury item that I really want to buy, it's good to like not go in and buy it right away because what happens is the seller or the site itself will give a discount and Autumn, I'm sure we'll probably talk about this a little more, but I always put my heart on there. I always have a heart on anyway, <laughs> as you know. Um, but I like to go through and just each of the pre-loved sites that I go to or selling sites, I love to find the item and then I'll put uh, the heart on there. And then that way, if it goes down in price in any way, if they, you know, run a sale or if they have a promo code, I've got that in my favorites and I'll get an alert. You can create an alert on Fashion File or just simply put the heart on there and that will tell you every time, oh yeah, they're, they're selling this for, you know, it was this amount. Now, you know, it's on sale. So I always do that. So let's look. Um, they do have that purple. What's crazy is, OMG. The one that I told you I wasn't crazy about, um, Summer Stardust, that's the one. I mean, it's cute, but I, I mean, for that kind of price, there's a, a price hike on that. Fashion File has one for $45.95, so no, we're not going to look for prices over retail. We just buy it on the site or contact an SA if we wanted to do that, but... So if I go through here, okay, here's an excellent one for $35.95. Again, over retail, we're not messing with that. <laughs> so let's see, I've probably favored it a few. Here's one, okay. This one is $27.50. It looks good, it says it's in very good condition. I'm gonna put a heart on that one um, and hope that they reduce the price. So that's that's what I do is I kind of go to all the different ones. Here's one for 31, you know, it's 32.50. I'm not gonna pay. I I'm gonna try to get a pretty good deal off of it because here's the thing. Let's say there's a spot on the inside on the um, interior. Nobody's gonna see that. And if it's crazy to me, if it bothers you, I'm gonna put, <laughs> I'm gonna put a little, what do you call those things? You can always add an insert, okay? 
Uh, also, if there's a lot of times they'll show bags, especially leather bags that just need a lot of conditioning and stuff and cleaning. Superficial. Uh, if there's a scratch on the top or out of the way that you really can't see, let's say it's on the strap, you're going to scratch that anyway. So I'm willing to let a few things on an item this expensive go by the wayside. <laughs> Uh, so I might handle, I might take in a few more things than you would. Here's another one of those, uh, Sunrise Pastels I was talking about. Holy crap. $49.35. Okay. No. So anyway, I found a good one on here. Uh, $27.50. Looks like that's about as good as it's going to get on the black one. I'm okay with that. They've got a, um, on the go in the Giant or the Giant in that cream bois de rose or whatever, like a pinkish, rosy, beige color. Okay, we'll put a heart on that one. That one's $27.85. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go through here. $27.15. Here's one that's in very good condition. There's a pink one that's $21.55. Let's go on that and see. $21.55. So, they're asking $32.50. It's in the freesia color. I don't think that is available. I think that's like last season's color. I don't think, or maybe even the season before. There's some obvious, there's some, there's some, yeah, scuffs. There's staining inside. I personally, I got choked there for a minute, guys. I personally would probably take a chance on this but there is some scuffs it needs conditioning there is you know there's some obvious things for 21 that the edge is dirty yeah there's some things going on with that but i'm still going to put a heart on there uh nobody else might want it but she might be something that i love they've got one that's in actually excellent condition in that freesia for $26.30. So there are some good ideas on here on Fashion File in that uh, PM. I, I'm not I'm not I'm not too choosy about which one. Um, I really can't afford to buy the ones that are over retail. Who can? But just for grins and gigs, I am gonna go on eBay and I'm gonna check there. So you see a pattern here. I'm going to go on the different sites, uh, especially pre-loved, Mercari. I doubt that Mercari would have something that nice. Uh, Poshmark probably would, but they probably want an arm and a leg. So my two biggest go-tos, pre-loved market, Fashion File. Of course, I can always lay away there. Uh, and eBay, they have some incentives too. So there are a bunch on eBay. Um, Sometimes you have to watch, though, buying on eBay, they do kind of want to price gouge you. I'm not worried about authenticity because remember what we said about eBay. The seller sends it to their authenticator at eBay. They authenticate it in-house, and then they send it out to you in a really nice dust bag. So you have guaranteed authenticity on eBay. Anything over $500 is luxury. So we're not going to worry about that. But yeah, I found a few. I put the heart on there. Um, eBay is notorious if a seller, you can't really, there's some ways that you can go in there, but I'm not really sure how that you can go. You used to be able to see how long the item has been listed for, but they don't really want you to know that. But I've seen things that I put a heart on two years ago still they're trying to sell. So those sellers are probably a little more motivated. So I do enjoy finding a motivated seller. Uh, and eBay, if you find one, let's say I go for the one that I see on here on eBay. Um, it is $2,800. I put a heart on there. If I really want to buy it today, which I don't because we want to wait for offers, but let's say I'm antsy and I want to buy it, I'll offer him $2,500, $2,600, $2,700. I won't lowball him sometimes that much, but I'll start off lower and then we'll kind of meet in the middle. So you can always, if it's a very motivated seller, if they've had it listed a long time, we don't know that information, but hey, you just might look up and see that somebody's willing to let something go for a really good deal because they just really need to get it out of their collection. I don't personally, I have bought some stuff off of the Facebook groups. Um, I think, what do they call it? Reetsy or whatever. And totally... Um, 100% got what I asked for and the sellers had been very forthright and shown me pictures and I, I don't dislike buying on the Facebook groups but for me I found out that um, you can't, 
they're kind of, you know, they're kind of set in their, you know, they're like, hey, this is what I, you know, will take for this, or they'll do a payment print program. So if that's what you're into, totally go that route too. We're trying to save money here. I'm going to buy preloved. That's basically what I do. Now remember on Fashion File. So let's say Fashion File, like that freesia colored one, it's got some defects, it's got some scuffs, it's got some marks. They're probably going to keep lowering that. I think I've seen one go down like 37%. So they're going to keep lowering it until somebody actually buys it. But the good thing about Fashion File that I just, I love is after you, let's say you go through your favorites and you see that, oh, sold out, sold, 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 sold. Leave those on there because what's going to happen is something that you really, really love nine times out of ten it gets returned or sold back to them so several months down the road you're going to get another email that says hey the item you were following has come back into stock so uh that's how i bought that givenchy antigona or antigona tote that i used to have uh that way it was you know somebody bought it and then they either sold it back in six months or they returned it i'm not really sure or they didn't get it out of layaway I'm not sure what happened on it, but, you know, their loss, my gain. They usually will relist it, though, at their first asking price. So just go ahead and, you know, start the journey all over again and keep watching. So, uh, yeah, those are some things. Always offer, um, if you think you can, offer something less. Try it, especially, uh, I love to buy things from the Japanese sellers because they will offer, if you offer them, you know, let's say you go in, they're asking $200 for an SLG, you offer them $150, they're not going to probably take that, but sometimes they do. Uh, they're probably going to come a few dollars off of that. That's tax, that's shipping, that's whatever. So definitely take advantage of um, offering people something a little bit less than asking if you are into it. Something also to remember about Fashion File, let's say I wanted that freesia tote or the freesia colored tote or the black one, either one, and I went ahead and put down my money uh, to lay it away because that's how I have to do, pay on it every paycheck till I can get it out. Remember, if you don't get it out or you decide to change your mind and you've already put it, you know, down payment on it and laid it away, they're going to keep 10%. 10% doesn't sound like a whole lot of money until you get into the $2,700 range. That's $270. So you have forfeited $270. A $1,000 item is $100. So if you're willing to lose that kind of money, just make sure that if you put it on reserve, this is something that even when they send it to you and you don't love it, you're not going to talk them out of that 10% even if, unless something's drastically wrong with it and they didn't disclose it. Um, case in point, I bought a pair of sneakers one time. I put them on reserve. I got the sneakers. They stunk like cigarettes. I mean, I could not get that smell out. They were deeply embedded in it. Uh, I did complain, but they did not budge. They were like, no, mm-mm. -mm. We showed you all the pictures and we sent you everything that was in the picture. So anyway, there's some things they're not going to budge on. I mean, you can kind of argue with them, but I, you're not going to get anywhere with them. So just make sure that if you do put it on reserve and you do that 10%, that 10% is theirs always. You're not getting it back. We know that Louis Vuitton doesn't go on sale, but there's a couple of times a year uh, in the summer, of course, right around July, August, things do go on sale at Versace. I have seen things at Christmas go on sale from YSL, sneakers especially, uh, some ready-to-wear stuff. So also uh, department stores, Saks, uh, Nordstrom, Neiman's. Uh, Bloomingdale's, Bergdorf's, all those places do also occasionally run sales, especially on stuff like Versace. But know this, you ain't never going to get a sale on Louis Vuitton. So that's one thing you always need to know unless you're wanting to pay full price for it. But some brands do um, go on sale. 
even on their boutique, on their actual online website, or um, in a high-end department store. So I like to, before I do make my last decision, like, okay, this is the one I want from Fashion File. I'm going to put it on reserve. But wait, I like to go in and Google exactly what I want. So I like to go in and just Google the item. If there's anywhere else in the world that's got this bag, like Tradesy, The Real Real, sometimes I won't bother to go on all of the actual sites, but I can see, you know, who's got it pre-loved that I can go look at it. So most of the top hits on the on the go are from Fashion File in the pre-loved market. Boy. Uh, B. Leary also, <laughs> I've made this mistake a few times. I've never purchased anything like this because if it sounds too good to be true, it's usually too good to be true, girl. Ain't we heard that before? No, seriously. In most instances, if it sounds too good to be true. So, I've Googled before uh, an item, and then let's say the item's $3,000, and I get a site on here that's like, oh, here it is, brand new, and it's got stock photos, looks just like the $475. Now, I might be able to get it for $2,475 somewhere. There's no way in the world that I'm going to get a $3,000 handbag, authentic, right? For $475 so don't even push those like you'll see it um, no ma'am <laughs> steer clear of those but yeah your shopping your Google shopping will bring up um, case in point just right off the bat I found one for $819 I mean it's tempting but you already know that is a fake bag so Nobody's going to sell their real bag for $819. Here's another one for $459, $950. Yeah, they're out there. Even one, it says there's one for $1,500. Even that sounds a little sketch to me. So just stick with, <laughs> stick with ones that you know. Here's one that's all beat up for $120. I mean, girl... That's not real, so steer clear of all those that, um, you're going to find them anywhere from 2200 up to 32 34 35 $4,200 in that range. Never, and I mean never, pay more than retail. If it's more than retail, run away. So I hope that helped you out a little bit. I know that um, Autumn has some really good tips for you to try and some things that she does. She sends me a lot of things in, um, you know, her, in a text. She'll say, hey, go look at this. This is something I think you would like. So it's always good to be subscribed to Autumn and me because our community posts, if we find a good deal on something that we think is particularly good, that's going to save you money, or is, you know, just a, a really neat item that you might want to check out, We'll put those in our community tabs, especially Autumn. When she finds just wildly good deals on, say, the real, real and stuff, she will post those on her community tabs. So you have to be subscribed to get a hold of them, girl. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Please go over and check out Autumn's channel. Please comment down below. Give me your tips and uh, your tricks that you use to buy luxury online because I want to know everything. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And remember, woo -hoo -hoo, girl, if y'all see my husband, though, don't tell him nothing. Bye. So, yeah, I'm just going to tell you, I bought... <laughs> I bought these like Spanx tight camis or whatever that's supposed to like suck you in. I thought here I am going back to work girl and she has eaten her feelings. I'll just say that the last two and a half years have been <laughs> and that full length mirror at work. Oh she told the story. I I have a full-length mirror at home, but I probably never really look in it, but whew, eyes are wide open now. Girl, um, she's got to go ahead and put down the fork, stop eating the cake and pies and good stuff. Bad stuff for you. But anyway, I bought these Spanx, and I figured if one Spanx is good, 
two, right? No, abort, go. Running into the night. So all day long at work, I'm constantly pulling up and pushing down and pulling up and pushing down. And that's something I normally want to do on the weekend, not at work. Oh, God. Magic shapewear, my ass, and two other bellies, and enormous other ass. Bianch! <laughs>